Okay, with a radio reset, uh, we want to tell you, first of all, uh, read the manual as much as possible. Uh, I know we're all excited about getting our, our HT, but take time, read the manual, experiment with some of the settings. But for right now, we just want to first get you on the air with APRS. There are two uh, main keys you need to be familiar with. The uh, F key, right here, which is also an A button, and also the menu button. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and turn the internal GPS on. That's function one. Push function one, function. Use the toggle switches here to go up and down. Go to uh, switch it to on. Hit OK and escape out. And you'll notice right up here uh, there's an iGPS. Um, while you're setting up the rest of your radio, your uh, GPS will be uh, working on getting a fix. So we want to go to uh, the first thing we want to do is to turn the uh, battery saver off. So go to menu, uh, menu, and, it, and this is broken up so you have uh, uh, radio, GPS, APRS, so all these different functions you can turn with the uh, uh, frequency select dial at the top of the radio. For right now though we're going to select menu 1, 1, 0. So hit OK, you can toggle up to 1, 1, 0, hit OK again, and select this to off. The reason you want to select this off is you just don't want the radio to go, go to sleep on you while you're trying to get things going. So hit escape button here, escape back out, you can go back into the menu again, and the uh, next one that you want to select is 111 APO. So <coughs> let's uh, turn APO off. Again, you can do this with a knob on the top, or you can use the, uh, the um, joystick down here. So let's select off. Okay, now we're going to move to 194. We're going to set, set the date. So you can, you can cursor over 1, move up and down like so, or use the dial and select 194. Date. And our date is already set accurately. But you can change it by moving it up and down like so. or using the knob at the top of the radio. Next function we want to go to is 195 time. And the time uh, right now is, uh, is 14, 14, 16 Eastern time for me. Next thing you want to do is go to menu 196, UTC, and my UTC offset this time of the year is minus 5. All right. Now once we got our time and our date and our UTC offset, we want to select the next menu, which is GPS menu right here, number 2, and we want to go to 201. And we want to select battery saver to off. The reason we want to do this is because uh, the, the Kenwood radio has an algorithm to where it would be checking for uh, fixes and uh, going to sleep and checking for a fix. So for right now, we just want to keep the uh, uh, GPS battery saver mode uh, turned off. Okay, we're going to exit that and go to menu number three. And this is starting our APRS setup. So the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, go to 300, enter our call sign. And if you're a uh, previous Kenwood uh, D7 owner, uh, this is very familiar. Hit the AB button, enter, uh, clear out the uh, no call. We're gonna go ahead and put my call sign in here and I'm using the, the button method 
W six G P S. Okay, now I want to cursor over. Uh, if you don't make a selection, you cursor again, then your call sign is select. Now then, we want to exit out of the menus all the way and select our frequency. Now, again, you can use the, the, the knob at the top or do a direct entry of the frequency, APRS frequency. So hit the enter button. One, four, four, three, nine, zero. And that's your uh, APRS uh, frequency for the United States. For Europe, uh, it is uh, 14480. Okay, note that our GPS already has a fix now because of the flashing iGPS. And now we want to select by pushing the TNC button. We want to open the TNC to uh, APRS. And you'll see up in the uh, up here APRS 12 which is APRS 1200 baud. Um, so we have a fix. Uh, we have our call sign in here. Uh, I'm going to select the POS button. Uh, the flashing uh, um, uh, degrees, minutes, and uh, seconds uh, marks uh, shows you have a, a, a fixed position. By toggling over, it shows uh, my altitude, uh, my speed, of course I'm not moving so it's zero. Uh, target point, now we'll talk about target point in another video, but target point is a predetermined um, one of five points that you can program in the radio to uh, get a vector and a course and a, a distance to. So we'll talk about that in the next video. And uh, log memory, and uh, here's an actual uh, copy of our constellation or uh, satellites uh, footprints and the number of satellites and where they are in the constellation. So exit out of that and uh, we have this set for manual beacon so when we push beacon uh, we'll get a, um, a beacon of our position. Okay by selecting a menu on that tune object we can actually tune uh, to uh, Kevin's frequency, which we've done already. Okay, it's important for you to remember that the uh, GPS has to be flashing to send a beacon out while, while you're moving. Now there is a, uh, a menu to where you can put a fixed position, turn the GPS off, and you'll be able to uh, beacon your fixed position. Okay, I'm just going to kind of go scroll through the menus here. Uh, this is function one, two, track log. Uh, track log is uh, if you have a fix, you can actually uh, turn this on and it will create a log uh, to of kind of like a breadcrumb of where you're located at. Let's go back in there. Now once you know you got things working, I suggest you go ahead and turn uh, voice alert on. And what will happen is, is you won't get that uh, beacon sound unless uh, somebody else has voice alert on uh, transmit uh, and it will give you a, an indication that, that they're close to you. Yeah, Kevin has his voice alert on so uh, the squelch opened up and you can hear the uh, our correction, the tone opened up so you can hear um, that Kevin is close by. Okay, this is uh, just, like I said, a basic setup uh, just to get things going. Anyway, this is Don W6GPS and a uh, basic setup for the Kenwood D72 APRS HT.